you look at my role, it's to uh, head economic diplomacy for the United States. And to me, what that mission is all about is maximizing growth for the sake of advancing uh, prosperity and peace uh, around the world. So there's no other place I'd rather be than right here, right now, uh, this week. Um, and my life's work has not been in, in government. It's really bil been in building innovative uh, companies, transforming uh, uh, noble, noble causes. Uh, and, you know, key to that is challenging the status quo, building high performance teams. And I really believe that um, different temperaments, talents, and convictions and diversity of thought is the catalyst for genius, and we certainly have that here. Um, and if you look at uh, uh, the plan that, that Jared uh, laid out that we've been talking about uh, since last night, it really is about that. It is about challenging the status quo. It is about uh, inspiring, mobilizing, uh, unifying for that noble cause. It's going to leave a profound and far-reaching impact. And I think in this region, um, it's at an inflection point. Technology changes a lot, certainly, but the young people uh, change a lot. And uh, uh, that opportunity, I, I think, is tremendous. And Steve and Mohammed talked about uh, that great opportunity. And it starts off with big, audacious goals in terms of economic uh, prosperity, uh, doubling the Palestinian GDP over the next 10 years. If you look at bringing the unemployment rate under 10%, um, reducing the poverty level. And uh, I had the opportunity to build four companies in Silicon Valley and, and uh, you know, before we would begin, we'd always uh, talk about setting those big audacious goals. And, uh, you know, one of the things that I would always do before we would, the last two companies were DocuSign and Ariba. We invented B2B uh, e-commerce. Now 1.7 trillion goes through uh, that Ariba network. DocuSign, 450 million customers around the world. And maybe I'll just, finally, I'll just share a little quote. One of the things that, uh, uh, you know, I usually say before we begin these mission of building these companies. And this is from 1891, a guy named Daniel Burmett, and I think it really sums up this plan um, and what they're trying to accomplish. Make no little plans. They have no magic to stir men's blood and probably themselves will not be realized. Make big plans, aim high in hope and work and remember that noble logical diagram once recorded, will never die. But long after we are gone, be a living thing, asserting itself with ever-growing insistency. Remember our sons and daughters and grandchildren are gonna do things that would stagger us. 